And we are back on Friday the 13th on the NES. So in the last video playthrough, I did it with Mark and I focused on getting the torch via the long method, which is lighting all the fireplaces. I also went to get the sweater on day two and the pitchfork on day three. So for this playthrough, I wanted to try something different. So let's use Chrissy. And my goal here is to go for the quick torch method. I'm not going to get the sweater on day two, which reduces damage from all sources. And I'm not going to go for the pitchfork on day three. So we're going to get the torch via the quick torch method, but we'll do it in a second. But I have to go and hunt down Jason for a second because the alarm is already off. So let me go defend him one time. So this way I can hold him off for a little bit longer and that should give me time to get the torch right after this. So right now I only have the knife weapon which is a small upgrade over the stones or the rocks. It's not a lot of damage but it'll have to do for now. Oh, I'll get this potion. Alright, so let me go and fight Jason at least one time and then after that encounter I should have enough time to get the torch via the speed run method which is actually pretty easy. Uh, okay, here we go. It's pretty simple. It's pretty slow on the first day, unlike day two and day three, but I prefer to fight them indoors because indoors I am guaranteed to avoid damage as long as I can dodge his attacks. Outside, however, it's, it's possible outside, but at the same time, it's very tricky. Okay, so let's go outside. All right, so let's go to the right side over here. Ooh, I'll get that potion. Nice. I'm stocking up. Go up here. We'll make a left. I believe I have the key already. So we'll go past over here to this side. And I need to get past the entrance into the lake area. I'll go past that. And whoops, this is the wrong place. Let me just get out of here for a second. Okay, here we go. This was the wrong cabin. It's past the entrance over there. It's the large cabin right here. All right. So we'll make a right, pick up the note, go into the woods. Yes, I'm going to the woods. We'll exit, make a left. Then we'll go down the first entrance into the woods. We'll make a right. Oh, potion. Nice. Oh, oh, this is not good. This is not good. Okay, I do not want to fight him outside so early on. We'll go up twice. We'll exit up again. Make a right. Pick up the notes. Fire will damage Jason the most. That's true. Uh, the pitchfork does the same amount of damage, but it has a faster rate of fire. Oh, another potion. Nice. I got like four. So we'll go down there. Then we'll go down the second path back onto the lake area. We'll make a right, go to the first large cabin, go up, make a left, left again, and there's our torch. All right, and I did not even light a single fireplace. So there's two ways you can get it. Just pick the one you want to use. All right, so the Jason alarm is off and we are set to go. I got like four potions, I got my torch, I'm good. So we're gonna stick to Chrissy, just do a one character playthrough. I'm going to try my best to avoid all his attacks inside the cabins and try to make it so I don't even use a single potion. All right, so we're going to go into the boat and whoa, that is one attack I cannot dodge. Guaranteed. There's no way you can dodge it. So ooh, that's more unnecessary damage, but it's okay. We're on day one. It's not bad. I'll make it through here. So there we go. He moves slow enough after each um, cycle where he goes from left to right where I can still hit him as long as I dodge a little bit early. All right. However, when he moves very fast on day two and day three, there's no point to hit him after every rotation from going left to right. Just hit him as he goes back into the uh, background area. That is for day two and day three when he's moving fast because on day two he alternates his uh, movement speed between day one and day three. All right, so I'm going to check every cabin here just in case he might be hiding out in one of these cabins 
before the Jason alarm goes on. So, nope. Okay, so he's over there. So we're going to go to the right side and then take the pathway down, then make a right again. Now the next one, that's to the woods. I don't need to go to the woods anymore. This quick torch method is very useful. It's pretty good. All right, so here we go. There's Debbie. We'll find Jason. I got four potions. Dodge twice and then hit him. Dodge twice and hit him. We'll dodge once, hit him. Dodge, hit him. Dodge, hit him. It's very simple. It is not a hard game at all. Once you learn the game and the mechanics and how to play, the game is simple. Oh, here we go. Nice. Okay. This is my chance to do a lot of damage. And he's making a run for it. I want to chase him down. Maybe. Yes. He'll appear again. Let's do this. We'll get some more damage. And okay. I almost ended up using one potion, but I didn't. So that is the first day. So Jason's still alive and stronger than before. We'll continue with Chrissy on to day two. All right, so I spawned by the cave area. So we're going to check out, oh, watch out for the knife. We're just gonna walk down this area and wait for the Jason alarm. And on the way there, we can possibly uh, check some of the houses because sometimes you can find Jason in there if you see his health bar up here before the Jason alarm even gets activated. So we'll check a couple of these cabins just in case because I do want to fight him indoors, preferably at the very beginning. When his health is very low near the end of that day, that's when it's also good to fight him outside because you can finish him off before he basically takes you out. Providing you have enough health and health potions at the same time But for this run, we're gonna try to do it without using a single health potion. I believe so far in day one I think I dodged all of his attacks inside the house. Day one is easy So far I did not find him and we still have uh, 15 of the children available. So that's good No one is missing and we'll check this one over here. Oh, there he is. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And again, nice. Two in a row. Can we get three? Come on, Jason. Let's do it a third time. Th uh, yes, a third time. Here we go. There we go. Oh, I want to see how much health he lost in those three encounters. I want to find him. I want to find him. Is he inside? No, he's not here. I want to see what his health is like right now. Where is he? Come on. Where? Oh, the Jason alarm. He's by the lake. Okay, let's go back. I really want to know how much health I drained off him in those three encounters. I want to see. Oh, another health potion. Wow, I am fully stocked. But the goal here, once again, is to not use a single health potion. Oh, unnecessary damage. Whoa, okay. I took a lot of damage on day two but not from Jason inside the cabins. Just dodge, dodge and hit, dodge and hit. Yeah, when he moves slow, I can hit him right after the dodge when he goes from left to right. So, and he should be done. Okay, that's day two. All right, day two is done. You still haven't defeated Jason and he's even stronger. Really? So, we skipped the sweater on day two from Jason's mother, so we're going to take a lot of damage when Jason hits us outside. But inside the cabins, I'll be okay. So the goal here is wait for the Jason alarm, and hopefully he's inside a cabin and we don't fight him outside at the beginning of his health bar. Because if I fight him outside at the beginning of his health bar, he's going to do a lot of damage, guaranteed. There are ways you can dodge attacks and still hit him, but it's more trickier outside of the cabins compared to indoors. So I'm just going to check the cabins here. He's not in any of them. We'll go down here and we'll check here. Nope. He is nowhere to be found. 
If I can find him, come on. Like, I really want to battle him indoors, inside the cabin. Like, I'm really... Whoa! That was some unnecessary damage from the zombie. Oh, here we go. This is not good, but we'll take it anyways. We'll just do whatever damage we can get. Wow, one hit. Alright, we found him. He's inside here. I'm pretty good at dodging, especially on day three. So I'm pretty confident that uh, I'll be okay. If I can find him. Where is he? Ah, there he is. Look at that Turbo Jason. So fast. Just dodge twice when he goes left to right. When he goes back, that's when you hit him. Just play it safe. I've seen people get to this point and they panic. They get hit once and then they lose focus. I'm like, just relax and focus. Just stick to the routine and you're going to get him. It's simple. Keep dodging twice, dodge twice, and then hit him. Of course, always remember to dodge early before the first attack even starts. That's easy, man. All right. This is looking good. I got six potions. Like, I really want to use the six potions, but the goal here is to not even get to that point. I might actually have saved all 15 children and also... I think I have not gotten hit by Jason inside the cabins yet. Outside, however, is a different story, but inside, I'm really good at dodging. He's going to go down, I'm telling you. As long as I just focus and keep dodging twice, dodge twice and hit him, dodge twice, just stick to the routine. Yeah, all right, good, 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 good. This game is easy, man, and it's fun too. This might be my fastest run. Oh, he's outside. This is fine. This is fine. He's nearly finished, so we'll just, you know, yeah, finish him off there. He's done. That is day three. So that is a full playthrough with one character using no potions and get the torch using the fast method, which is the speed run method. And also do not get the sweater or the pitchfork. So when I compare the two playthroughs I did recently, I think you can also go for the sweater and pitchfork if you really want more enemies to fight or have a, another challenge. Um, but this one here works out just as fun. I mean, it's a game you can finish within 15 to 20 minutes, depending which route you take. But either way, it's not hard. Just learn the mechanics, learn how to dodge, how to get the torch, and you're good. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.